Greeting everyone. This is Triple A N, and this is my first video in this new YouTube channel, Secret Knowledge. I would like to dedicate this wonderful video to the Dark Queen Hikate and to Mark Allen Smith, uh, the founder of Primal Craft Publication, an elite spiritual icon in the spiritual community. To all the devotees in this path, in hope that to that this video will bring some joy to the hearts of these people who have the call from the Dark Queen Hikate. I would like to start an introduction with some uh, simple facts about Primal Craft. And if you're wondering what is Primal Craft, Primal Craft is as simple as it is, is Atlantean witchcraft. And it is the sum of the practices of the Atlantean priest and all their knowledge. And amazing enough, when I did hear that, it is the first faith of man. Amazing. Now, this is just the surface about primal craft and what's the definition of primal craft. But let's dig deeper into primal craft. What is the work within primal craft? What it is per se beyond, you know, the simple term? Primal craft is a spiritual alchemical transmutation. And it's a journey for the essential of the soul. Mark Allen Smith made a wonderful and amazing system that it is extremely fascinating. I mean, I'm very fascinated of how sophisticated is the system. He started with the Trident Trilogy, which you see in the center of this uh, uh, altar or central table on the right. Uh, the trial trilogy, the Trident trilogy, start with Queen of Hell, then with Rink, Red King, and then Scorpion God, and the Queen of Hell is dedicated to Hikate, and Queen of Hell opens the first gate. Queen of Hell is also associated with the first pillar of fire. The second book in the series is Red King, and it's dedicated to Lucifer. He's associated with the uh, second pillar of fire. And then the third and last of this trident trilogy is Scorpion God, dedicated to Belial, associated with the third pillar of fire. Now, people will wonder where is the fourth so the fourth is only going to be apparent when you go successfully into the scorpion of god and 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 the, and, and then you will be introduced to sifrons i have a hard time to pronounce some of the name so as english is not my native language so excuse me for that now for these books, each book act as a gateway for the receptive God. Also, a wonderful information I read in the books that each book has formulas to attain one of the three crowns of divinities. The first crown is for Hecate, the second Lucifer, and the third is Scorpion God, which is Belial. Now you're wondering where is the fourth crown of divinity, the black crown, and we'll talk about it later because it was not apparent until 2021. Within these books, the gods warn of some, uh, reflect some prophecies, important prophecies, and warn of the soul weighing of the word, and give the warnings of what will happen if the call is not answered. Something I really like about the methodology 
uh, of Mark Allen Smith in Primal Craft is sequential. And it's really made for devotees to go through sequence. Queen of Hell, Red King, and Scorpion God. You don't really go and start with Scorpion God, according to what I know. And only then when you are done with this marvelous work, and it's a lot of dedication and devotion, then you will go to the second set, and it's called the Sac Sacrificials Triology. Now, something I really, really, I mean, I'm just fascinated with principles, working principles, and how sophisticated is this, this system. Now, if you go and flip Queen of Hell, you will see a trident. And Mark Allen Smith didn't put this trident by mistake. That's reflect the formula of the trident. And it reflect four flames. And if you, if you join what I just said now with what I said about what is, in a deeper sense, primal craft. And I said it's um, basically an al alchemical transmutation, an ascension of the soul. So now when we link that, you will know that these four flames ignite and elevate the souls of the devotee in spiritual alchemy. Wow. You know, and this trident is like a map. So when you look at the trident, you see the three tip of the trident. It reflect the three flames for Hikate, Lucifer, and Belial. And then you're wondering, where is Sifiron's? He is basically the fourth flame, and he is at the bottom tip of the trident. And you can't go through, uh, and, and going through this w amazing work, and, and it shows a lot of devotion and methodology and wonderful stuff. The soul of the devotees will carry these flames as per my understanding and only when you go through the scorpion god it you will join with the loss which is the four, fourth flame of sifirons and then there will be more empowerment and i'm going to really dig deeper into the system because it's way up and beyond this and it all honestly way and up beyond me because I still need to dig into this system and reread a lot of the material. So now, since we're going through the trident, the shaft of the trident, the central pillar is reflected within something else that revealed in 2021. And that is associated with a with a with a fourth crown of divinity. And you know, since I started to talk about it, I don't want to really skip and go through that, but let me talk about it in a bit. So when we go through the set that you do see in the left hand side in the central table, you will see basically the sacrificials triology starting with the altar of sacrifice then the witch um, uh, then the um, the witch blood grail and then finally the crown prince of sabbath and i really don't have the knowledge about the laws since I did not really dig deep into them but they as simple as it is deals with the creation of the temples of the four pillars of fire and uh, going to 2021 since I keep skipping or going back and forth 
because I, I'm getting overexcited doing this video with you and sharing my passion for Primal Craft and Mark Allen Smith with you. 2021 was the release of a marvelous release called The Altar of Cain. Now, if we go through the, 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 the methodology that I explain, remember the trident. So Cain basically is the central shaft. And he is associated with the fifth pillar of, uh, of fire. And he is basically, you know, the central pillar that goes between gods and men. And he complete also the five pillars of flames. Isn't that a marvelous system? Now, do you see how much I'm like in love with such a sophisticated spiritual system? Cain is the emissary of the Dark Queen. He also reveals many, many things on prophecy and a major prophecy. You have to read the book and you have to dig deeper into it. The book has lots of wonderful things, including healing, cursing, manifestation, astral work, and more. We're getting at the end of the, um, the video. And for these people uh, who join me, I would like to say uh, what you're seeing right here is one of the most extensive collection of primal craft, if not the most extensive collection planet Earth. I have the reason and everyone have the reason to have double of the devotees fine edition because these open or become a gateway and I need to open gateways to anchor energy into a certain region. And hence, I have all this collection. I even have three devotee edition of Altar of Cain because I've been guided to. And I do have my standard edition on the left-hand side to have them as a reading material. And through a second video, you will see that I will go through a lot of these gorgeous, beautiful books. Look how beautiful. So I'm going to give you just like a minute to enjoy the phenomenal binding work of Primal Crap. This is no joke. It's one of the most superb fine edition in planet earth and some of them like the python skin all the way to the left is absolutely one of the most beautiful fine edition i've ever seen in my whole life it took me so so much hard work to have this sitting and make the studio. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. See you sometime soon. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Below the video, show your support and join my Facebook group. In my Facebook group, I did also now at the moment, specifically this month, October 2021, took professional photography of close-up of these wonderful fine edition. So if you would love to see close-up and beautiful pictures of these wonderful books, join my Facebook group and spread the love. Thank you so much.